Hey guys, it's Killer Sushi 99 here. I wanted to show a fix for our 2014 2015 Forester and WRX. Uh, we have a situation where the factory Subaru clamps on the intercooler piping is a very weak and cheap clamp. So, what happens is these clamps get loose, and you're driving around one day after a couple thousand miles in your new car, and you come off the ramp or you change lanes and you get on the throttle. And you look in the rearview mirror and you see this big huge cloud of black smoke. And you're thinking, okay, I didn't buy a diesel, so why does there a big huge cloud of black smoke behind me? And the reason is, uh, most likely these clamps have loosened up and now you're getting blow-by around the seals on these clamps. So what we're looking at replacing are these Triton clamps. If you look on your car, you'll see this stamped clamp that has Triton on it. And as you can see with the way this clamp looks, I mean, this is this clamp's got less than 10,000 miles on it, so this is just the way it comes. I haven't loosened or tightened this thing but one time. So you can just see how much wiggle room and play is in this thing. I mean, it's really a poorly made clamp. I don't even think I would put that on a, a rain gutter on your house to hold a gutter on the house. It's so bad. I mean, it won't, you can't even hardly tighten it with your finger because it wants to hang up so much inside because it's so cheaply made. So enough about this. These are the replacement clamps. This is a Breeze Blank brand clamp. And as you can see, the tolerances in this clamp, I mean, that's as much wiggle room as you get out of that clamp. Is this little bit of play right here. It's very high tolerance clamp. You can also see the reinforcement on the end of the clamp, how thick it is. So you're not going to get any play out of this. Stainless steel clamp. Um, it's called an aero seal or a liner clamp because it has this extension that comes off the actual clamp itself. And what that does is when it's clamping down, is it distributes the pressure um, on the clamp. Instead of create, creating a pinch point right underneath the clamp, it kind of spreads out that clamping force further onto the clamp. So when it's clamped down, it's evenly distributed better, so you don't get that pinch effect. So this is what the box looks like. These are breeze clamps. Uh, they come in boxes of 10, unfortunately, so far. Uh, so if you buy 10 of them, you can, I guess, sell them online to other people or you know, give them to your friends that have WRXs or Forrester XTs. So the actual part numbers are 9420. You're going to need one of those for the bypass valve, which is this little guy right here. You're going to need 9444, which is two of those for the intercooler outlet and the throttle body. And then 9448, which is the turbo inlet and the intercooler inlet. Okay. And just look at this clamp here real quick. You can actually see how dirty this clamp is. Now, mind you, this car is new. So, I'm thinking that's blow-by coming past that clamp around that pipe and actually dirtying that clamp up because there's no reason why that clamp would be that dirty on a brand new car. I mean it's just coated in carbon stuff. It's not oil. That's not oil. That's carbon on there. It's like a fine dusty powder. Fuel. Burnt fuel. So just look at that and you can see the, what we're talking about. And what you can do also is what I did was I went out to my car with a screwdriver just to see if the rumors were true and I and I actually put the screwdriver on the clamp and turned it two and a half times on each clamp so that shows you how loose these clamps are and I tightened them up at one point and then they loosened up again so it's kinda like not even worth even attempting trying to tighten them up because they're gonna loosen back up within a couple hundred miles it seems so real quick let me pull my engine cover off I've taken the two fasteners off the back and your engine cover pops up in the front just pull it up from the front and it comes off. So we can get in here and look around. Alright. So real easy on top, you see the intercooler inlet. This is a breeze clamp on here. I've actually swapped this out. So we've got one here. And hiding over here is your intercooler outlet. And then 
tucked down in there, you can see the throttle body clamp. And you see the position of the clamp is pointing towards the throttle body. So it's kind of kind of easy to get something on there. You just have to be careful. I had a really long extension, an 8 millimeter extension on a little ratchet. You just have to be very careful of your intercooler piping and everything getting too close to your intercooler, messing up your, your fans on your intercooler. So the intercooler, intercooler is very delicate, so you have to be careful. Now the other two clamps are underneath the car. I'm not going to go into showing where they're at because there's only two down there and they're pretty evident once you take that aluminum under tray off down here underneath. Once this comes off with some 10 millimeter bolts and some plastic fasteners on the side, you can see on the side of the turbo the two pipes. But definitely I want to give uh, credit to Dano's Max on the Subaru Forester's website. He did so much extensive research and trial and error and testing and it just hats off to him for all his hard work. So I just want to shoot a quick little video about it because uh, it's something that needs to be addressed and it's going to affect a lot of people. Um, I kind of dismissed it at first, but then when it actually started happening to my car, I was like, oh, this is uh, definitely exactly what everybody's talking about. So, so look into getting some clamps. Um, you know, maybe breeze clamps, these aero seals aren't exactly what, you know, you like on your car. I'm just telling you what will fit because you have to have a certain width to fit on the stock intercooler piping. You can't go wider without running into problems because the, the piping on the intercooler pipes are designed for this width of clamp. So definitely the Breeze, breeze uh, manufacturer is a very high tolerance and also it's a stainless steel clamp so it's a really strong and durable clamp so it should, it should you know maintain its strength through all kind of heat cycles and stuff so definitely uh, look into doing this um, fix Subaru hasn't come out with a uh, bulletin or anything on our cars yet that I know of um, I've checked as of yesterday at the dealership and they didn't have anything and uh, there is a uh, I guess a update for the uh, actual software for the computer that's circulating on the forums but so far it seems like it's in Australia and different places um, for these motors and we haven't gotten it yet so it's uh, some sort of you know reflash on the ECU of course to help with uh, the I guess detonation in the motor or however the direct injection is working so one day hopefully the US spec will get that but until then we just need to get our um, clamps replaced and once you get your clamps replaced, you can um, reset your computer on your car just simply by disconnecting your negative battery terminal on your car, letting it sit for uh, like 30 seconds to a minute. You turn your key back on in an accessory position where the dials actually sweep on the dash and let it sit there for a second. It'll do some clicking and whirring and you'll hear some noises. And it's just relearning the throttle positions and stuff. And it won't actually get its tuned back until after about a half a tank of gas is what they're saying because the computer has to learn its its re its settings and everything, kind of relearn everything, the transmission settings and stuff. So um, you'll start to it'll start to feel like a totally different car once it gets itself readjusted. So hopefully this little video um, points you in the right direction and does uh, inspire you to get your clamps fixed because they do need to be replaced or you're not going to be a happy Subaru driver for sure. So thanks for watching and uh, see you later.